And hello, thanks for coming to this session. Um, I'm talking about Jenkins, uh, Twitter 4 j and regression. And who am I? Um, my name is Yusuke Yamamoto. Um, I'm in Java in industry for 10 years. And I have two representative works. Uh, one is called uh, Samurai. It's a Java uh, thread dump analysis tool. Is anybody interested in, or is anybody uh, ever used this tool? Oh, there is, great. Uh, it's a really good tool. Uh, I really recommend you, if you have any pro performance issue with your Java application, try, please try it. It works. And another one is uh, Twitter 4J, which I'm going to talk about. And what is Twitter 4J? Um, it's an open source uh, library for the Twitter API. So anybody use Twitter 4J for fun? Oh, oh there's two, three. Great, thanks. And as you know, Twitter provides um, API of, uh, openly. And so there's no need to use t Twitter 4J, actually. You can call the web API directly from your Java application. But if you are very religious and true Java programmer, you may uh, prefer a more type safe way uh, to use those APIs. It's really uh, difficult and messy to purge those XMLs or JSON responses uh, from Java code, as well as an other languages. But uh, Twitter 4 j does uh, all, all of them uh, instead of you. And you can program, uh, use Twitter API in type safe way. It's very uh, productive. And uh, since it's a pure Java product, uh, it's compatible with, not only with Java uh, standard platform, but also compatible with Android and Google App Engine. Write once, run anywhere. Sometimes test everywhere. It's very good. And since I've been working for this product for almost four years, uh, last week I joined Twitter. Great. So it's, I'm not sure it's going to be official library or not, but uh, it's a very good uh, partnership between Twitter 4J and Twitter. And here's the tools I'm using for developing Twitter 4J. Uh, most of them are very popular ones. And IntelliJ IDEA is an ID. Who uses IntelliJ? Great. Very few of them. Uh, if you are using Eclipse, just un uninstall it and use IntelliJ. <laughs> That's what I suggest. And you know Jira. It's an issue tracker. And you know GitHub, the source code repository based on Git. And you know, of course, you know JUnit. And Maven is a uh, build system. And Maven central repository is uh, uh, the repository for Maven artifacts. And Sonotype is uh, Maven uh, repository manager. And of course, I use Jenkins. And here's a relief flow. There is nothing fancy here, but let me explain a little bit. Uh, I file Jira issued uh, first. It could be a bug, it could be a uh, feature, fit, uh, new enhancement idea. And I implemented those uh, feature or bu fixed bugs using IntelliJ area. And once I finished, I push those changes to GitHub. And there's a service hook uh, configured in GitHub. And GitHub triggers Jenkins to uh, build, uh, invoke Maven. And Maven will run all uh, test cases existing in my project. And when I, uh, I'm sure that the code, code base is stable enough, I use uh, G G uh, Maven's release plugin to put the artifact to Sonatype. And via Sonatype web console, I uh, promote the artifact to uh, Maven repository. And after that, uh, it takes only one hour to sync up. And after that, uh, everyone on the planet can use uh, the latest and stable version of Twitter4j. That is the flow. And we also respect uh, test-driven development, uh, as always. Of course, everyone in this uh, room respects test-driven development, I believe. And firstly, I write test cases 
for the new feature or bugs, and I fix or I implement it and commit. And Jenkins will run all test cases. And in theory, uh, there should be, should be no regression, of course. And uh, here's a timeline. I started working on Twitter 4J from uh, 2007. That's really early. And two years later, I found that running all test cases on my machine is uh, really painful and started using uh, Harrison. And, and later that, um, now I'm using Jenkins, of course. And as I mentioned, oh, if you are using Jenkins, there should be no regression. But uh, in October 2010, just one year ago, uh, there was a critical regression found in Twitter 4J. And here I'll tell uh, how and why. And uh, what, what the issue is? The issue was introduced in Twitter 4J version 2.1.5. And the symptom, symptom is that uh, certain method call fails with uh, 401. And the actual error message is, is authentication credential is were missing or incorrect or something like that. And interestingly, the reproducibility was 100%. 100%. Curious enough. And what was the cause, root cause of the issue? The direct cause of the issue was in string util class, which was also introduced in 2.1.5. And it's a very simple class that splits string into uh, an array by uh, separating the uh, uh, string. And in this case, if you have foo, uh, foo, foo bar, uh, it will be split in two strings. But with this bug, uh, if I pass foo bar without comma, uh, it returns an empty string instead of just one single string foo bar. And maybe you are uh, curious that why I implemented that? Because JVM has a split method. Uh, it's since uh, Java 1.4, but uh, somebody found that it's not available in CLDC platform. CLDC stands for co uh, uh, Connected Limited Device Configuration. Uh, it's a profile for embedded or uh, mobile devices that has ability to connect to uh, internet. Uh, but uh, CLDC comes with a subset of the standard Java API without split method. That's why I implemented it by myself, and I embugged it. And let's talk about the general, general cause of software regressions. Um, if you have test cases, uh, regression could be happening if the test coverage is not enough. And in the case, if you just ignore test, case, uh, test failures, it, you could also in introduce regression. Speech sounds silly. And if you don't have any test cases, uh, there is a huge chance to introduce regressions, of course. Generally, you, you should write test cases. But um, so, so sometimes they don't. And when you have no test cases, uh, you, you could wrongly modify your source code and introduce bugs. Or external resources or library um, can become uh, incompatible. And it, when you, you didn't, it, it may happen, you, don't, you didn't uh, modify any source code, but you just upgraded other uh, library, and, but it became incompatible, and you, you could uh, re introduce regression. So uh, those three ones are very typical ones. And I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. But uh, in my case, I ignore the test failures. Why? It happens sometimes. And ignoring text, test failures uh, is generally a bad idea, of course. But sometimes you need to, because um, your, if your software is depending on some external resources or libraries, 
in my case, I, my Twitter 4J library is depending on the Twitter API itself. And as you know, Twitter API is fairly unstable. It, um, I, I say Twitter API was unstable. Now it's very stable. Actually, I miss very well. Um, so uh, I got used to ignore those uh, test failures, uh, which is a very bad practice. But I often uh, fail, uh, just ignore those test fail failures. And I was very sure that I, I do, don't make any mistake. That is a mistake. And one, thing, one more thing I want to uh, add in this uh, diagram is uh, test case wrongly modified. What does it mean? Um, in Twitter 4J, uh, there is a very major three test classes called Twitter test unit. It's a uh, base class of uh, two test cases. And there are two ca uh, test cases inherit the Twitter test unit. One is called basic test. Another one is OAuth test. And some of, some of you may know that uh, Twitter used to be supporting basic authentication. And right, right now, they are migrating to OAuth 1.0 or 1.1 or whatever. And I had a test case for both uh, two uh, authentication mechanisms. But um, they stopped uh, supporting basic OAuth. So I refactored the test case and made it into one test case. The test case uh, is called Twitter test, test unit. And Maven has a mechanism to recognize test cases automatically uh, by its name, class name. If the class name ends with test, well, Maven knows that it's a te test case. Uh, in the above case, Twitter test unit doesn't end with test, so Maven does just ignore it. And Maven used to run those two test classes. But after the refactoring, uh, the Twitter test unit is wrongly named. So Maven wasn't aware that it's a test class. Be aware of that. So lessons learned from the uh, issue one, which is that uh, maybe you, you may need to ignore test cases in some certain cases, but make sure that uh, you also check the age of the te uh, test failures. If the number of uh, test case, uh, uh, failure, failed test case is uh, uh, that much, in this case, age is 93. This, te this case failed in, uh, continuously for 93 times. There should be something wrong with it. Additionally, uh, the second one I want you to care take care of is that uh, you should take care of Take, uh, you should be very careful when you refactor your test case. Usually, you, you just write test case and forget it. But sometimes, you may need to refactor test cases. But in that case, um, you should really uh, keep eyes on the test trends. And if the number of executed test class get decreased that much, there should be some, something wrong. And uh, additionally, when you refactor your test case, you may also need to uh, look at the test, co test case coverage, uh, code coverage. If you, you uh, fail to uh, refactor your test case correctly, that uh, test case coverage could change and, uh, m m much. That's it. OK, and thanks for listening. And thanks for sponsors. And again, uh, my name is Yusuke Yamamoto. My Twitter ID is Yusuke. So feel free to follow me and mention me to feedback. <laughs>